All right, let's roll on gold real quick. We'll do a quick video. What we went over yesterday, we talked about uh, taking pre-news trades. We have non-farm payroll that comes out at 8.30 this morning, another uh, nine more minutes. That's the number one economic news event of the month beside the FOMC meetings. And it's every Friday, the first Friday of the month. Well, what I told you guys and gals is to get in here and look for a trade from 10 to 8 to 8.10, 8.15. Look for gold to make a pre-market move. It did the same thing last time before non-farm payrolls. And it happens before big news events because non-farm is a big economic barometer of the economy. So what we have here is the first thing we do is we look at the overall trend coming into the news event. To find the trend, we look at our MA. We don't use moving averages for support and resistance. They're worthless for that, but they're great for trend direction. I look at the built-in magenta MA. It's angled up. What I want to do if I'm angled up, I'm going to try to buy low value area. Hey, hey, Steve. We're going to buy the first test or second test of low value. It came down to the second test of low value area right here. What we like to do on our methodology, the most important levels we have are these solid blue, solid red, solid green lines. That's volume profile. That takes all the volume in the market, whether it be the hedge funds, prop firms, algorithms, amateur traders, professional traders, spits out major support and resistance. So when it came down within a couple ticks, it must come within two or three ticks of my level. You're going to look for positive market delta. If you look over here, positive market delta, this gray chart, it was 173. Anything over 50 is a huge buy imbalance or sell imbalance on gold. It was 173. So after it closes, your position is opened up, your live fill is 70. So you got filled at 70 by the first test of low value area. Now what's beautiful about that trade was this is three times stacked level. We always go over it and we always go over what you want to trade. You want to let the solid blue, red, and green line it up with trend direction and buy retracements. But then what you want to do is if my dotted levels line up on the black chart, that's my price profile. It's not as important as my volume, which is a solid, but if it overlaps, you have a confluent area or stack level. Look how it's stacked right on top of each other. Now, if you go over to my white chart, we have developing profile, and consequently, it lined up also with my line in the sand. So we had three times stack level. That is called a brick wall with the trading system. You cannot get better than a brick wall in the room. We had the Fibonacci retracement also that coincided with the support level. But I got one, two, three, four times stack level. That's a four times stack with the positive market delta. And we planned this trade yesterday before the news event has even posted. You got around two more minutes to hold your runner. We'd like to sell at 826 to cover your position. You should have been scaled on your position from this trade. It's a very simple method. If trend is up, we want to buy off this green, blue, and red. We don't sell this red. We let it buy, break out, retest, and try to go long. We buy the retracement to the LVA. So that's a three times stack. We call that a brick wall, actually four with the line in the sand. You cannot get a better setup than that. Go to crude oil, Gerald, real quick before the news. Go over to crude. Now, if you look at crude, we're in a little bit different situation. If I look at the magenta MA, I'm flat as a pancake. So how can we buy and sell pre-news and crude? Well, very simple. If I'm flat as a pancake, look at my MAs, they're flat. I buy, sell the high, and I buy the low. Look how it's come off my market profile levels. My solid is the most important, like I told you. My solid blue, red, and green, that's volume. That dictates price action. But if I get the dotted levels to come up, that's price profile, look how they overlapped at the high and low. So what do you do? You sell the high, you buy the low. 
We went over this yesterday in a flat market before this came up today. So there's two different ways to trade the system. The market's are either going to trend or it's going to chop in a range. If you're flat as a pancake like crude oil is right here, you do not trade the blue control point. You trade out a level. So you just take all this out. You don't even look at the control point, the blue level, in a flat market. You don't even trade off of it. You sell the high, you buy the low. And look how accurate it is. It's uncanny. It's actually very uncanny how this can do it if you trade it the correct way. So you sell the high, you buy the low. Now what you're going to do after the news post, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to let it break outside of high value and low value, red and green levels, and then on crude oil. Let it get away from it. Let it retest it like this. It will be a breakout then. We'll let it slide outside of it. And then what we'll do is we'll see if it can rotate back up to it after news posts. And then we'll try to get in on a negative or positive market delta with a break of LVA retest or break outside of HVA to retest. But that's how you trade trend versus chop. Both of them were pre-market trades. And they both worked out very well on crude and gold. Okay, get out of the positions, guys. Nice trade on pre-market gold, pre-market crude. All right, you avoid the middle exactly, David. Avoid the middle and chop. That's the difference between an amateur trader and a professional trader. We know how to trade it. Now, on trend days, you trade the control, the LVA, and the HVA. Non-trend days, sell the high by the low.